Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting question, we know that the sum a plus b equal to 5 and we know that the product a times b equal to 25 and we need to find a and b, so if you have your answer, your solution, you can write it in the comments below and then we will check your answers. Okay, so I'm going to use the basic method. First of all, from the first equation, I'm going to express b, okay, so let's do it right now. So b from the first equation, b equal to 5 minus a, yeah, I hope you understand it, so 5 minus a. And right now I'm gonna plug in instead of this b, I'm gonna plug in this 5 minus a. I'm gonna plug in it into the second into second equation. So let's do it right now. As a result, what do we have? Instead of a we, we write a and instead of b we're gonna write 5 minus a. So we have 5 minus a equal to equal to 25. Okay, let's simplify this real quick. As a result, what do we have on the left side? We have 5a minus a square and I'm gonna write this 25 on the left side because it looks like this is a quadratic equation so minus minus 25 yeah minus 25 and equal to zero right now let's change an order a little bit because everyone prefer like a square then b with a with x or with a and then constant on the in the last place so right now let's change an order a little bit first of all let's write this minus a square so minus a square on the first position the next five uh, plus five a plus 5a and of course minus 25. Okay, and the last tricky moment because uh, we don't like this negative sign right here so that's why we're gonna multiply both sides by minus 1. Okay, let's do it. This is our final step and then we will get like a great quadratic equation for us. Okay, as a result of our final quadratic equation a square minus 5a minus 5a and plus 25 equal to 0. Right now let's solve this quadratic equation. Of course this is up to you. What method do you choose? But for me I just choose basic method of coefficients because maybe there are a lot of students watch my video right now. So we have a equal to 1. So basic method a, b and c. Yeah? a, b, b coefficient right here we have minus 5. And the third coefficient we have c equal to equal to 25. So right now let's find real quick of a discriminant. So let's go for, for example right here on the left side. Okay, so discriminant equal to b square minus 4ac. Right now let's plug in each of these elements into this spot. So we have minus b, um, uh, we have minus 5. Yeah, minus 5. So b square minus 4 times 1 and times 25. As a result, what do we have? We have uh, minus 5 to the second power equal to equal to 25. So we have 25 minus uh, 4 times 25 equal to 100. So minus 100. So our discriminant is equal to minus 75. Minus 75. And right now let's plug in this discriminant um, into the all known spot. Right here we have all known formulas. So we have a first, a first and second equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over to a. But I, I want to underline a really important moment because our discriminant is negative. So it looks like this a, a complex root. But let's see. Okay, so minus b. So we have minus b equal to minus 5, yeah? Plus minus square root of minus 75. Yeah, and we're going to divide it by 2a, 2 times 1. 2 times 1. Really great. Negative, two negative signs we have positive. So we have 5 plus minus. What can we say about uh, this uh, square root of minus 75? I suggest you to split it because in terms of uh, square root uh, square root properties there's like one really important property. It looks like that. So whenever you have minus 75 you can split it like minus 1 times 3 and times 25 and I'm gonna apply it with square root. So I'm gonna split it with square root. So we have square root of minus 1 times square root of uh, 3 and times square root of 25. Okay, and all over, all over too. So I really hope you understand this property. When we have the square root sign, we can easily split it. Okay, but we need to we need to have like a multiplication sign, so we can't split with with addition. Yeah, so we we split it. Right now, square root of twenty five equal to five, and square root of minus one. This is our imaginary unit. This is our i. So as a result, from here we can write five uh, plus minus. Right here we have i, so I'm going to write it in, in that way. I'm going to write 5i square root of 3. So 5i square root of 3 and all over, all over 2. And uh, there's one really important uh, and great trick. We can divide it by parts. We can divide our numerator by these two, but not like the whole numerator exactly in this case. But we're going to divide this element. So we have 5 half plus minus. 5i square root of 3. A lot of a lot of people do that because they want to uh, like separate real part and imaginary part. 
So 5 half I can write as 2.5, so 2.5 plus minus 5i square root of 3, 5, 5i square root of 3 over all over 2. And this is our a first and a second, but don't forget about the b. Where do we have it? So b equal to 5 minus a. So let me just rewrite the thing real quick. So b equal to 5 minus a. And I, I want to underline this. I, I want to underline this. So right now let's find real quick of a b first and b second, because our a first and a second, let's write it right here. So like, like a general case, a first and a second equal to 2.5 plus minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. This is our uh, this is our a first and a second. Uh, because we have like uh, two uh, roots, uh, like a first and a second, as a result right here we will have like two uh, b, b first and b, b second. So let's start with b first. So b first equal to 5 minus a first. But a first we can we can consider with the negative sign, with the positive sign. Let's use for example with the positive sign. So we have b first equal to 5 minus a first with the positive sign. I'm going to write it like that, okay? So we have 2.5, not with plus minus, but with plus sign. So plus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. Yeah, let's simplify this real quick. So we have b first equal to 5 minus 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So our b first from here equal to 2.5. Yeah, when we subtract it, so we have 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. Really great. And right now let's find real quick our b second. So b second equal to 5 minus a second. But in this case, I'm going to consider a uh, second with a negative sign because we used, we also used, we already used with the positive sign. So in this case, I'm going to use with the negative. Okay, so we have b second equal to 5 minus a second. So 5 minus a second with the negative sign. So 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. So as a result, b second equal to 5 minus 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And as you can see right here, we have it looks like these are a symmetrical answer. So we have b second equal to 2.5. So we have the same 2.5, but with the positive signs so of 5i square root of 3 over over 2. So we have our two roots. Let's write our final answer to this question, and then we will check real quick our root. Okay, so our answer, it will be like a long, long answer because we have a little bit like complicated expression. So our A and B, A and B pairs equal to the first pair. Let's let's look at it, for example, A first with the positive signs of 2.5, uh, 2.5 uh, plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And with the negative 2.5 minus, so B first right here. 5i square root of 3 over 2. And the second root, okay? Second root, uh, we have 2.5 minus 5i, 5i square root of 3 over 2. And the second one, 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over, over 2. Yeah, over, we have over, over 2. So I really hope you understand it. Yeah, but I, I don't have enough space right here, so let me just let me just rewrite this uh, expression: 2.5 uh, plus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. So we have two roots. Okay, I, this I'm, I'm going to cancel it. So the first pair and the second pair. And right now let's let's check real quick. So for example, let's do quick check. Okay, quick check to this uh, to this root. Uh, first of all, I'm going to rewrite my question. So we have a plus b equal to 5, and a b equal to a, B equal to 25. First of all, I'm going to underline one really important moment. We don't need to check both these roots, this pair or this pair. We need to check only one or one, only one pair. We don't need to check both because we have addition and multiplication and it doesn't matter. We can write this A plus B, B plus A. So we can like exchange these variables. We can, we can swap it on both sides. So everything's going to be great. We don't need to check both of these. So for, for further calculation, I'm going to check this pair. Okay. So let's start with addition. Addition a plus b equal to 5. So this expression plus this one equal to 5. So 2.5 uh, plus 5i square root of 3 over 2 uh, plus b, this one, 2.5 uh, minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. And this one need to be equal to 5. Let's see. Okay, this one we can easily cancel real quick. 
and as a result we have 2.5 plus 2.5 equal to 5 so our uh, our addition works absolutely uh, absolutely perfectly right now let's check real quick our multiplication so we need to multiply this expression by this one let's do it right now so we have 2.5 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2, we're going to multiply by 2.5 minus 5i square root of 3 over over 2. And a lot of students, and this one should need to be equal to 25. And a lot of students might be thinking, no, no we need to multiply, we need to swap like a verb, values, expression, so we need to multiply this 2.5 by this parenthesis, or this by this one, okay? So basic school formula. But in this case, exactly in this case, we have the same values. So we have this one, for example, A. And we have this one. This is our B. We have the same A right here. And we have the same B right here. But what about signs? We have A plus B times A minus B. And in terms of school knowledge, you should know that this is equal to A square minus B square. So if you want to simplify it, so right here, A square minus B square. So 2.5 square, according to a school formula. Like difference of squares. Yeah, I'm going to write it right here on the bottom. So we have A square minus B square equal to A minus B times a plus b, a plus b, yeah, so I really hope you understand it, so right now we can consider it as difference of squares, so 2.5 square minus 5i square root of 3, so 5i square root of 3 over 2 to the second power, okay, and what do we have right here, 2.5 uh, to the second power, we have 6.25, 6.25, minus, uh, we have root here plus basically because a, i square equal to uh, equal to minus 1, so we have plus, uh, we have 5 square 25, 25 times uh, 25 times 3, we have we have 75, 75 over 4, if we can see if we convert it into decimal value, we have 18 point, 18 point 75, and this expression is equal to 25, and absolutely correct, yeah, we have 25, equal to equal to 25 so our root is absolutely absolutely correct sorry about uh, my uh, like space i don't have enough space in this on this paper so I'm, I'm really sorry about that but i hope you see everything uh, uh, important thing on, on this part of paper so uh, especially in this check uh, check moment check this uh, this space in my paper on the bottom i i'm sorry about that so i really hope you understand it so our root is absolutely is absolutely correct. So we have two pairs, A and B, and I really hope you understand uh, my solution. I really hope you, you enjoy it. Once more, you can see this solution right now. We uh, express B and plug it into second equation. Basic quadratic equation, of course, one really important moment that both roots are uh, complex, but doesn't matter. We solve this question completely and step by step. So I really hope you, uh, you enjoy this solution, and I really uh, hope you learn uh, you learn something new. So thank you everyone for your time, take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.